Hello, my name is Python Kumar and I use Python for both AI and web development. In this video, I am going to talk about BFGS. BFGS stands for Brighton, Flasher, Coldfarb and Shano, the four researchers who actually came up with the idea of BFGS. Here I am going to tell you a little bit highlights about BFGS. Now like gradient descent, BFGS is also used to optimize the loss. It works locally that is on a small region. It is mostly used for logistic regression. It is much faster and much more accurate than logistic regression. And lastly, it extends the already popular Newton's method. Here you can see the formula difference between BFGS and gradient descent. The, in the formula of BFGS is on the top. The B actually denotes the, the point on the curve. Y is the Y is the functional value on the curve. And in gradient descent you know the cause function and how you reduce the cost function. Here you can see the graphical differences between gradient descent and Newton's method. In for gradient descent, you draw a point, you take a point on the slope, on the curve, and you draw a tangent. Now the sign of the tangent, whether the tangent is positive or negative, based on that you deduct something from the error of error. That is how the gradient descent works practically. But in case of Newton's method, you can see that the tangent is much more useful. You start off with the point, you draw a tangent. You start with a point on the curve, you draw a tangent at that point. Extend the tangent so that it meets the x-axis. From the x-axis, you again go up and meet the curve. That is your second point. Where the x where the line from the x axis meets the curve, so you can see that gradient descent is the Newton's method is much more faster than gradient descent in converging. Gradient descent would have taken three four steps to to jump that far down the slope. But for Newton's method, the process is iterative. You, you just select the point on the slope, you draw a tangent from the point, make the tangent meet the x-axis, and from there, you again try and meet the slope. And that process is iterative. Second time again you draw a tangent, again the ta you extend the tangent to meet the x-axis. So the diagram, you can see from the diagram that the Newton's, why Newton's method is faster and more accurate. It would have taken gradient descent, 3-4 steps to go that far down the slope. After graphical presentation of BFGS, let me tell you about the intuitive definition of BFGS. In BFGS, we are actually going uphill, the highest place on the curve. 
in gradient descent we were we actually go downhill but in bfgs we are actually going up the hill until you find a flat surface the top of the hill is flat so in bfgs we are actually going up till we find a flat surface that is the top of the hill if we use the newton's method for this purpose the third point is we calculate the inverse of the hessian matrix you know the hessian matrix is actually the second order derivative second order derivative of a point on the slope we calculate the inverse of the hessian since uh, the inverse is because we actually need to find actually need to find local minima but instead we have found the top of the hill we have to find the bottom of the hill but we have found the top of the hill bfgs uses an approximation to in inverse the hessian matrix now usually the hessian matrix is quite large and quite complex so bfgs is already only trying to find an approximate solution not the exact solution but the approximate solution beyond this explanation the exact details of pfgs is very technical and it requires a lot of calculus so i would be skipping for skipping the detailed explanation